So our third question has to do with the economy. How does your party propose to pay for your platform? Give us one example of a proposed program and where you will find the money to implement it. Well, the Green Party, we have, uh, we have a, a lot of uh, things that we'd like to, uh, to spend on, to, uh, especially like social justice and social uh, equality. And uh, the one aspect that we'd really like to, uh, we're going to want to address for, uh, for paying for this is, uh, one of them would be the co uh, capital gains tax. So we are planning to, uh, to raise that, and uh, that, could, uh, that could get us uh, to 12 to $6 billion in extra revenues. Uh, we're planning to increase the corporate tax to make it in line with what they have in the, in the United States. So be, we'd increase it by about 3%. And, uh, and finally, we'd also uh, go after uh, offshore tax havens. And there's, uh, there's billions of dollars to be found there. And really, the current government is not doing enough to go after people that are hiding their money offshore. Okay. Economy. Our third question. How does your party propose to pay for your platform? Give us one example of a proposed program and where you will find the money to implement this. Sure. Uh, the New Democrats have a lot of great plans, but they are costly plans and they do cost money. But um, the, for example, with the climate plan that we have in place, it will cost, let's say, $15 billion to implement. But we're creating new jobs, uh, 300,000 new jobs. That's uh, money that's going to go right back into our economy. Um, we're offering a lot of um, rebates to people that might not have money at the end of the month to pay for things. and They're not going to have extra money to be able to put back into our economy. Um, we're also looking to really take our, a lot of the big polluters like in uh, the Alberta oil sands, um, we are going to start going after them. They're the ones that are causing the climate crisis really at the end of the day um, and they're not paying their fair share. So we really want to go after people that need to start paying their fair share. We at the bottom have been paying the most and uh, have been punished the most. And the big polluters and the big corporate entities have not been paying their fair share. So I think that's a good way that we can get after them. Thank you. So the economy, our third question. How does your party propose to pay for your platform? Give us one example of a proposed program and where you will find the money to implement this? Only one? <laughs> Just one. We okay, have two no, minutes. no, 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 I know we do. <laughs> so I think, you know, in general, I would say that our party is, is investing in Canadians and we're investing in all Canadians. And there's a difference of philosophy between the Liberal Party and the Conservative Party on this because we're seeing in Ontario the kind of cuts without care that happen when a conservative government comes in. So rather than looking at costs to taxpayers, we look at investments in Canadians. And we've done that over the last four years where we've made those investments. So in our platform, uh, there's a few things that, um, that sort of stand out. And one is bringing universal national pharmacare to Canadians. There are people right now who are making a choice between whether they will put food on the table or buy drugs. And in the long run, it's actually costing Canadians more money uh, by not having pharmacare. We're the only country in the world that has universal health care that doesn't have corresponding pharmacare. So that's something that we will be bringing in. And in terms of paying for that, um, the, the programs, we are actually in extremely good financial position in the world. We have the lowest debt to be GDP in the G7. Um, it's 30, just over 30% in Canada, it's 104% in the US. So if we're in a financial position to be able to make these kind of investments in Canadians while growing the economy, which in turn returns more money back to the, uh, back to the government coffers. And, and you know we're growing the economy, creating jobs. Pharmacare is one that, uh, as Parliamentary Secretary for Health, I was, I was really happy to have, have been involved in, in conversations around that, and it's something that we need to be doing. That's only one of many, though. There's lots more that, uh, that's in our platform, and you can certainly go to liberal.ca and click on our platform and see more of what's in there. Thank you. So economy revolves around our third question. How does your party propose to pay for your platform? Give us one example of a proposed program and where you will find the money to implement this. What, we what I've seen, I I I've worked through uh, two recessions <clears throat> and what I noticed, at least in engineering consulting, 
The first project to go are the green projects. What we need is a booming economy. The People's Party Canada will invoke Constitution 9210 and build pipelines. This will get more people working, this will increase the taxes, and when more pe people are working, it frees up people and money for environmental issues. Can you repeat your question? Yes, of course. So give one example of a proposed program oh. and where you will find the money to implement this. We will stop sending billions of dollars to the United Nations. We will pull out of the Paris Accord, the CO2 emissions, it, it, they're, not, they're not possible. We can't reach the, um, the emissions projections. The billions of dollars we're gonna save by not sending to the UN can be put towards our economy and by lowering our taxes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.